Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today, as you can tell from the title, we're doing another luxury haul. I'm partnering with Farfetch again to bring you guys this video. You guys know I love Farfetch and I shop there organically, so I'm really excited to be partnering with them again on this video. So I have fashion pieces and beauty products from Farfetch to share with you guys. So if you're already familiar with Farfetch, you would know that they obviously carry fashion pieces, but they also now carry beauty products, which is really nice. You can purchase your fashion and beauty products in one place. So I'm going to start with fashion pieces and then I will get into the beauty pieces from Farfetch. So the first piece is this Zimmerman shirt. I'm obsessed with this piece. I have already worn it so the try on clips will be me wearing it uh, like organically when I was in Santorini and I like the versatile aspect of this piece. I feel like I say that uh, in regards to a lot of pieces, uh, the versatile aspect because I do tend to um, opt for pieces that have a versatile aspect. So with this you can wear it buttoned up and it also comes with this little tie wraps so you can wear it um, I would say it gives it more of a formal look which I'll insert a try on of me wearing it that way this is a size one and it is quite roomy uh, size wise so I would say if you're a size small or medium this would definitely fit you and then they obviously have larger sizes but if you're small to medium I would opt for a size one I would say there's three ways you could wear this there's the formal way of tying it with the little tie that it comes with or there is the way of like having it buttoned up but without the tie and using the ties like a hairpiece or just not using the tie at all um, it's not a tie, I just keep calling it that, the little wrap, um, which is also silk, same material. Um, or there's another way where you could wear it unbuttoned and with like a bikini underneath it, so I really like that aspect, so it's a great piece to take on vacation. I also love how it's 100% silk, I do tend to opt for silk pieces when it comes to fashion pieces, so I really like that about this piece as well. The print is also very beautiful, I received many compliments on this when I was wearing it on my vacation. Um, it is giving kind of a little bit of an Italian vibe, and I was in Italy when I first wore this, so I really like this piece. I just love the design on it, I think it's very beautiful, and I also love the colors, like a baby blue, white, and baby pink. Um, I just am obsessed with this piece and I will be wearing this all summer long. And then for this little wrap that comes with the shirt, you could also wear this uh, without the shirt. So if maybe like an all white outfit or something, I think this would be really cute as well. So there's like four different looks right off the bat that you can receive with that shirt. Next piece from Farfetch is this bikini set from Missoni. You guys know I'm obsessed with Missoni. Um, this headband, by the way, is not from Missoni, it's from Institute of Barth, but I love their headbands and I will be hauling one of those later on in this haul as well. So I do really like Missoni for um, like summer fashion vibe. And this was also very reasonably priced. I think it was around 180 or something for a bikini set from Missoni. That's a pretty good deal considering their other ones are around like 400 to 600. So I think this is a really cute bikini for summer. I love how it's glittery and gold and I love the multicolor. Um, on the little outer part of the swimsuit, so I really like this. I opted for a size Italian 40, which is a size US 4, so if you're around a size small, which is my generic size small or size 4, sometimes a 2, um, I would go for the size 40. And I do have a larger breast area and it does cover that, so if you were worried about that, um, I wouldn't worry about that aspect. So it fits perfectly fine in the Italian 40 for me, and I even have a larger breast size, so I really like this and I think the price is very reasonable. I also love the shimmer glitter sort of aspect to this bikini and I wear this on my vacation as well which is why the tags are not on it. I wore this for a yacht day with a Stella McCartney cover-up which I posted on my story that outfit um, and I'm obsessed with this one too. I just love all of um, Sony's uh, swimwear just in general their summer attire. Next is this dress from Alexis. I kept this one wrapped up because I was going to take this with me on my vacation but it arrived the day after I had left uh, to the airport. So I was already gone, I was unable to bring it, otherwise I would have brought it and I was very sad that it did not arrive in time. Um, but I will be bringing this with me on my next vacation. So I just kept it wrapped to kind of show you how it's presented uh, when you open the package. So I really like how they wrap things also with the Zimmerman shirt. They had it in, um, I think, I believe it was like a silk bag, I mean, not just in silk, it felt like silk, maybe satin. Um, and it, I've noticed that the way that Farfetch, when they put like a silk item in those little black bags, I've shown that in previous Farfetch hauls in here before. Uh, it tends to avoid the wrinkle aspect that can occur when you fold a silk piece or um, in packaging it can kind of tend to get wrinkly so I really like how when they put it in those bags it avoids that. The Zimmerman shirt did not come wrinkled whatsoever and when I packed it I kept it in that black bag to avoid it becoming wrinkled which is really nice so I didn't have to spend time sending it off or pressing or anything on my vacation. So I haven't even unwrapped this dress. I'm very excited to see this. It's from the brand Alexis again. This is in a size small. So if you're around a size US 4, I would opt to get a small. Um, I don't have any sizing issues at all with Farfetch. I've never had to return something with a sizing issue, nothing like that. Their sizes are very much true to size. This is the dress. I will insert a try-on clip so you can see it a little bit better and how it looks on. Um, I would say it's like a mini dress, probably about, yeah, 
I'd say it's a mini dress and I really like the material and I love this pattern. I also do some loving fuchsia for summer and I like how it's halter, halter tops tend to look I think really flattering um, on most people so I really like that aspect of this dress as well and I have been wanting to try a piece from that brand Alexis so this is my first piece from them and I am quite satisfied with the quality. Um, everything from Farfetch is obviously uh, going to be great quality. I've never received anything from there that is I'm not satisfied with and I've been shopping there for quite a few years now organically before I even worked with them. So um, yeah, I love this dress. Next piece from Farfetch are these Dolce & Gabbana sunglasses. These also arrived the day after I left my vacation. I wanted to bring these with me, but I can bring them on my next vacation. So I actually don't own any Dolce & Gabbana sunglasses. I obviously own pieces from the brand, um, but I've never tried their sunglasses before, so this is a first. Um, I really like the sunglass case. It's kind of unique compared to the other ones I have, and the material is different, um, and I love the little gold. I think black with gold is a very like classy combination, very uh, classic in general. And then I also really like when sunglasses, I had already opened these so I got to see them already, um, but I do really like when sunglasses come with not only the case, kind of like what I would refer to as like the formal case, they also come with kind of like a casual case, that's what I refer to it anyways. Um, and because sometimes like when you have a smaller purse or something, this doesn't fit, um, so it's a little bit more convenient to have what I like to call the casual case. Um, so I like when they come with two different options, and these are the sunglasses. I like the crystals around here. I normally don't tend to like flashy things like that, um, but I thought it was kind of unique and you know it is fun for summer. Um, I will kind of opt for some kind of logo-y or flashy pieces for summer specifically. I don't like that at all for winter pieces or fall, um, but spring, especially summer, I feel like you can kind of be more fun with it. Um, so I do really like how these look on. You see how it kind of fits. Um, I intentionally wore um, kind of a more summer vibe outfit so we can see the vibe aspect of this. Um, do you see how this works very well for a summer vibe? This would not be working so well for a fall or winter vibe in my opinion personally, um, but I do really like how it looks with kind of the summer vibe going on and the crystals. It just adds this extra little flair to a summer outfit. Next three items from Farfetch are beauty products and I'm wearing all three of these products on my face today. The first product is from a brand called Chantikai and I have been wanting to try this brand for a while so when I saw that Farfetch offered this brand on their website as part of their new beauty section I was really excited and I've been wanting to try this exact product. It is their Radiance Gel Bronzer. Um, I've been really into cream products and I do think that cream products or liquid products are just more suitable for summertime because powder just tends to like not really, I don't know, maybe that's just me but I like cream and liquid uh, makeup products for summertime. So I put everything back in the packaging so you guys could see how it is presented. Uh, however, I have already opened these and I am wearing them today. Today was my first day trying them. So this is what it looks like. It comes in this little tube. And I'm obsessed with glowy skin in general for all year round. I think everyone wants glowy skin, at least I do. Uh, especially for summertime though, I love glowy skin. I think it looks really beautiful, especially with summer fashion outfits, just to kind of have a more natural makeup look. That's why in this video I'm not wearing false lashes. I don't even wear those in day-to-day -day life. I usually just wear those for videos, but for summertime I just think it's way too much, uh, so I'm not wearing those today. I'm just kind of wearing cream and liquid makeup products and very minimal compared to the amounts you guys might normally see me wear in other videos. And I don't believe there's a shade for this. I think it's just kind of a universal shade. It's called a sheer fluid gel bronzer that delivers a light reflecting radiance and sculpting effect. So I'm wearing this today and I will say a little goes a long way. Um, it's not crazy pigmented so you don't have to worry about, I mean it's pigmented, it's going to do something. It's not doing nothing. But it's not crazy pigmented in the sense of uh, a lot of people that are into uh, kind of the heavier makeup look like a lot of pigmentation and I'm not one of those people so I just want a little color and I also like that a little goes a long way in the sense of this product will last you longer you don't need to cake it on you don't need a lot of product in order to receive the look that you're going for so what I did is it's a little tube that has this little um, like squirt it out and I just put a little bit on my ring finger I tend to use my ring finger for applying um, like blush, um, anything that's like a cream product where I kind of dab it into my skin just so it's because it's more gentle on the skin to use your ring finger. So I applied this here on the um, cheekbones and then I applied a little bit. I don't know why I did because I hadn't thought up my outfit out that it was going to cover it anyways, um, but I applied a little bit to kind of contour my forehead that you can't even see. Um, but yeah, and then I put a little bit on the sides of my nose to kind of contour it a little bit. Um, so it is radiant, so it is glowy if you're someone that's going for a matte look or a matte bronzer. This isn't something that would be suitable for you, but if you're someone like me who 
who likes radiant and glowy skin, I think this is a really good product to opt for. It's also quite travel friendly given the size is small. So I will be taking this with me to Bora Bora. Um, I'm not someone that wears makeup at all on a day-to-day -day basis, um, but when I do, it's maybe because I'm going somewhere where I have to look a little bit more presentable, so I will add a little bit of color. I'll do kind of makeup look like I have on today. Um, so maybe for like breakfast, even this would be too much um, for like the breakfast at the hotel or something like that. Um, I'll opt to use this because I will be bringing this um, and then the two next products that I'm going to share with you guys I'll be bringing as well. Um, I just like to add like a little uh, cream or liquid bronzer and blush, um, a little light brow moment and uh, mascara and lip balm if I am going somewhere. Um, especially in board parks, I'm not going to be wearing makeup all day long. Obviously we're going to be swimming, um, snorkeling, all that stuff. So I would just be doing this for breakfast and then probably take it off afterwards. Um, I'm just someone that likes to look a little presentable if I'm going to be somewhere where you know, I don't want to be going to breakfast, like, just rolled out of bed, so this is nice to have a little bit of color. So again, I am wearing it today, so as you can see, I'm not wearing any other bronzer, I just wore this. I don't like a harsh contour line or anything like that. Um, so as you can see, it just gives a little color, nothing crazy, and you could build it up if you want, I just don't like that look. Um, so I think this is a really good product for summer, and this will be part of my go-to daily routine um, for days that I do makeup. Next product is from Giorgio Armani. This is their Fluid Sheer Glow Enhancer in the shade 5. So if you guys had watched, um, I don't remember if it was a haul or a favorites video, one of my prior videos I had mentioned this same exact product in the pink shade, which is shade number eight. So I really liked this and I think I included that in a favorite. It's maybe just a haul, but I really like that product. Um, and so I opted to get it in a coral shade that has, um, they're all like very like radiant highlighting kind of products, but this one's a little bit more radiant than the pink one. It's a very beautiful coral shade with gold inside of it. Um, I'm wearing this today as well. Um, it's buildable. It's kind of similar to the last product I shared where you can build it up. A little goes a long way. Um, and it's also liquid, so I use it again with my ring finger. Here's the color up close. It's very gorgeous. I just feel like in general, Giorgio Armani is a, an amazing line for beauty products. You can never really go wrong with any of their products. I've never been disappointed, so um, I would highly recommend this beauty brand in general um, and this product. Um, they have a, several different shades too, contingent on what kind of look you're going for in your skin tone. Last item from Farfetch is this lip glorifier, which is basically like a lip balm that's tinted. Um, it has a nice glow to it from the brand Cledipol. Hopefully I'm pronouncing that correctly. Um, I have also been wanting to try products from this brand, so I really like the range and the selection of beauty brands that they have added to their website, and I'm sure they will add more over time. I'm really thrilled with the fact they've added beauty products. You can shop for beauty and fashion in one place, and all of the beauty brands from what I could see on their website are all uh, good quality, like nice brands, um, so they have all of the best ones on there that you would want. So this is in the shade 1 Pink um, Glow Revival Conditioning Balm, and I'm wearing this today. I am wearing it over a lip liner, so it may be affecting the true color of this if you were to wear this alone. I love the packaging of this. It's a very beautiful pink color with gold, and this is the color. It looks like it would be a very bright and intense kind of coral pinky color. Um, so when I first opened it, it was a little scary, but I do know how lip balms um, can be like that, especially if it's tinted one, a glow one, kind of similar to the Dior one. Um, if you've tried that lip balm before, uh, it can look a little more intense in the tube than it actually is on, so I wouldn't like this color if that was matte, um, but it's very much not like an opaque color. It just goes on like a glow similar to the Dior one. I'm so sorry if you hear my dog barking in the background. So I really like this. It's also very moisturizing. Normally by now I would have had to reapply whatever lip product I had, or sometimes I'll reapply, um, if I'm wearing a lip liner or something in a video, I'll have to apply a balm or something, um, just from the time of when I finish my makeup and set things up for filming. And I haven't had to reapply or anything, my lips are quite moisturized, so I really like this. I would compare this to the Dior lip balm, however, I would say this one's a little bit more moisturizing. So that's it for the Farfetch portion of this video, and I also have a discount code again for you guys, FF Monique, if you want to receive 10% off your entire order on their website. Definitely use that code at checkout if you guys check out any of the products that I've mentioned in this video and I highly recommend Farfetch as I say in every video that I do where I work with them um, and I have been shopping there organically and some of the other products that I'll be mentioning in this video I purchased organically from their website as well. Next are three products I received in PR that I would have literally purchased myself if I didn't. Um, it was really crazy because I was about to purchase products from this brand and then they reached out to me wanting to send PR so I was very thrilled with that. Um, so I have a hair oil and then a leave-in treatment, hair treatment 
and then a face oil all from the brand Augustina Spatter. Hopefully I'm pronouncing that correctly. This one's not in the packaging because I've already been using it. This is also going to be in an upcoming like favorites video because I'm obsessed with this face oil. It's very nice and I will go on about how much I like this in that future video. Um, so I really like this and then I have not tried these two products yet, um, the leave-in hair treatment or the hair oil, but I'm sure these will be very nice considering I love the face oil and I have heard a lot of great things about this brand. And Farfetch also carries this brand on their website, so um, if you were interested in trying any of these products, they also carry that um, in their beauty section on their website. Next are a few fashion pieces from Sony. Um, so these shorts are like little metallic pleated shorts. Um, they also have an option to add a belt, and I purchased a really cute Hermes belt that I think would look really cute with them when I was in uh, Paris. So I'll haul that in an upcoming video as well. Um, if I have time before Bora Bora, I'll haul it um, before then, but if not, uh, then I don't know when everything is being uploaded. I literally have like four pre-filmed videos that I need to edit and upload. So I don't know when everything's being uploaded, but um, I will be posting that haul at some point in the next month, I would hope. Um, so yeah, these are a size Italian 40, which is equivalent again to US 4. Um, I just, that's just the size I tend to opt for with Missoni. Um, it is a little bit big in like um, shorts and stuff. I would say it fits me perfect in bikinis, swimsuits, um, and in anything that's like a shirt, jacket, anything like that, because I do have larger breast area. But it is a little bit large for um, the waist. So these do uh, fit a little bit like low on me. Um, but that's fine and I could also get them tailored at some point if I wanted to um, And then the back thing is just like a faux pocket. That's a faux pocket um, The back looks like this so how I would wear this is with like a belt and then a white halter top or camisole or something That's like a nicer one since this is a little bit more of a formal pair of shorts as opposed to casual um, So yeah, that's those next is this headband from a Sony no tags because I did already wear this. Um, I wore this in Positano um, on that one vacation. And oddly, I would say um, that my MC2 Sound Barth headbands are more comfortable and oddly feel like better quality than this one. I don't know why. I think this one's probably better material, but it's just a little bit, um, it feels like it's a little bit itchy. It doesn't actually itch. I don't know. I just like the material of this one a little bit better. And this one also fits a little bit large on my head and they don't have sizings for them or anything so it's just kind of a one size fits all kind of moment. I do still like this and I wore it and everything um, and I would purchase more. I just like these ones a little bit more. Um, I just like the fit of these a little more. If I were wearing this on my head it would be a little bit loose up here and stuff so um, I do really like it but I do like these ones a little bit more. Next is this scarf. I think this is silk. Um, just the little tag that tells you it was made of. Yeah, this is 100% silk, made in Italy. I actually purchased this to wear on my vacation, and then when I was planning my outfits, I just realized it didn't really, it wasn't really vibing well with the outfits that I had planned, um, so I ended up not bringing it. And um, so this is the scarf print. I'll probably bring this to Bora Bora because I do really like the look of scarves worn as kind of headpieces, how I have the headband um, with bikinis and kind of a like beach attire. So like resort wear vibe, I do like that. So I will bring this on that vacation for sure. Um, but it just wasn't fitting with the outfit vibes of the ones I had planned for my prior vacation. Um, so yeah, that's this scarf. Next are some pieces from MC2 Saint Barth. Um, we already know I love this store um, and just this brand overall. I think that their pieces are very, very reasonably priced, especially for the quality that you are receiving. Um, so these pants, 100% silk, and they were only 119 euro. I purchased these at the Santorini store location while I was on vacation. That's also the same store location that I purchased this headband at last summer. Um, and I just think that's like a really great deal considering these pants, 100% silk plant, plants, um, pants from a nice designer, just great quality. Uh, cute, etc, etc, would typically be 500 and up. These were 119 euro, which is around 130 US, so I definitely think these were a steal, and these were just screaming Bora Bora to me, so I think these would be really cute to wear, um, you know, over a bikini with like a little tank top to go to breakfast or something like that. Um, and I like how they have pockets. I always need pockets because when I walk, my hands or my arms swing a lot, and a lot of people have pointed that out, so my solution is just to put my hands in my pockets when I'm walking. Um, so pants have to have pockets. If they don't, I will have a mini panic attack when I'm walking. My hands have to be doing something or I just look awkward when I'm walking, I've noticed. So hands need to be in my pockets. Um, and I also liked how it's kind of similar to the Zimmerman piece where it has this little um, like belt wrap that comes with the piece, which you can then remove and use that as a head wrap um, 
or something, you know, you can wear it on the pants or as a head wrap, so I like that aspect as well. And Farfetch does carry this brand. Um, again, this is MC2 Sunbirth. And this is in a size medium because that was the only size they had. I tried them on, they're a little bit big, but I can have them tailored. Um, normally I would be a size small, but this was the only one they had and they weren't selling these online at the time anyways that I'd looked, so I just went ahead and bought these. And then the next piece from MC2 Sunbirth, I purchased this from the Capri store location. Um, which didn't have the best selection. I would say that the Santorini store location oddly has a better selection. I'm assuming that's going to be because, in my opinion anyways, people that are visiting Capri are a little bit more into fashion in terms of the town waltzing around. It's right by all the stores that, you know, little fashion icons would like. So they're probably taking all the cute pieces. As opposed to Santorini, where the store is located isn't really by um, cute stores. They don't really have luxury stores or anything like that. Um, so I feel like it's just the pieces there are a little less picked over. Um, so the only piece they had there that I liked was this little guy. And um, it's quite small. Um, it does fit crossbody or shoulder. I like it as a crossbody uh, moment. And obviously this is not very ideal for every day. I didn't purchase this with the intent of using this every day. Um, the uh, vibe concept in my mind behind this item is for if you're going to breakfast or anything at a hotel or maybe you're like going to the beach, you're going to go snorkeling, you don't want to take your nice designer bag on a boat or something like that, um, but you need your room key and, you know, maybe a credit card or something, it fits exactly that. Um, so if you need cash, a lot of places on vacation tend to only take cash in their currency. Uh, you can just stick that in here with the room key, a credit card, and then you're ready to rumble. Even a little bit bomb could fit in here as well. So, um, and it's also a terry, uh, like, towel material, so if it got wet on a boat or something like that, um, or on the beach, it would be fine. So, and it was inexpensive, so... Um, I thought this was really cute and they came in a bunch of different colors as well. Next two pieces from the same brand as Susan Barth I purchased on Farfetch. So while I work with them I purchased pieces from there as well because I love that website and I love it even more now that it sells beauty products. Um, so this is a swimsuit from that same brand and it has a bezo on it and oddly this was shipped from a store in Capri and I walked past the same store so I could have bought it there but I didn't think about it. Um, it just said when it was shipping the item that it was coming from Rubio Kids. Um, which is located in Capri and it was that store location, which I just thought was funny. Um, so I haven't tried this on yet. Um, contingent on how revealing it is, I may or may not include a clip of me trying it on. Otherwise, I'll include it on a model or something. Um, because I do have a larger breast area. It may look a tad too revealing for YouTube, we'll see. Um, but I will be bringing this to Bora Bora with me. I opted for a size small. Um, I think it's so cute. Um, I really need to go to Ibiza. Um, it's just that my only travel buddies are my family, which are obviously people that are older than me. I go with my mom or my grandma or my dad and they're all older and so Ibiza is kind of a party place. Not really a place to visit with family, um, so that's the only reason why I haven't been there yet. Um, so that swimsuit I guess will remind me that I need to go at some point. And I think they had another swimsuit that was Saint Barth or something like that, um, that was kind of the same vibe but it had the city name on it. So. Um, I thought that was really adorable, and then the other thing, I did not realize how large this was going to be, I don't know why, because I've seen these in store, and they were more like this big, um, but I actually like how it's large, and it's like a bikini bag, um, so on the inside, it has like this material, which, you know, can get wet, you can put your wet bikini in here, so I actually like it even more, now that it's a little different than I anticipated, which I like the different, the difference that I didn't, you know, anticipate. Um, and I also love this mix of the green and pink. I think that's like a really summery, vibey um, color vibe right now, color contrast. Um, and all of these pieces from MCU's Bar. <laughs> Can I talk? I'm too excited. I need to get my thoughts together. All these pieces from MC2 Stomp Bar are also very reasonably priced. Um, and the quality is all very there, very much there. Um, so yeah, I thought this would be really cute. It fits with like a little clutch as a wristlet. Um, I guess for when I'm leaving the vacation, I can put any wet bikinis I have in here so that my other things in my suitcase are protected, but then also for while I'm there, um, it's something that has that same material. Again, same concept as a crossbody. It's not going to get ruined, um, but maybe I have more things than just my hotel uh, key card or whatever that I need to bring with me, hence the larger size. Last piece I'll be sharing with you guys today are these Ferragamo earrings, and I did already wear these in a video. I believe I wore these in my last or my second to last um, haul, I think it was my second to last haul, um, and then I realized I hadn't hauled them yet. Um, they're these really adorable little star heart earrings, and um, I purchased these on Farfetch with my own money. <laughs> I actually shop there and love that website. Um, 
so they offer just really cute and unique pieces and the best brands so these are the earrings um a lot of people already ask me about these if one needs in a tiktok um i think it was a l'oreal brand deal on tiktok and then somewhere else a lot of people have been interested in where these were from they're ferragamo and um i'll show them up close so these are them one is a star and one is a heart and another thing i really like about these earrings for one they're just very vibey um as we probably saw on the tiktok um and then the other youtube video where i'm wearing these um but also what i like is that when you remove it it has this piece the little like horse belt or whatever that is i don't know what that is um and then the back piece is separate so if you wanted to you could use a different earring back from a, um, a different pair of earrings to just wear this alone if you wanted something more simple so again it's the versatile aspect that i like um so yeah i really like that um aspect of being able to wear these more simple and then kind of more as like a vibey moment so you get two different earrings in one if that makes sense so again i'm obsessed with anything that's versatile and um i love these they also had these in silver um i opted for i think it was the yellow gold or just gold um they also had these in silver and again i purchased these on farfetch so as of the time i purchased them anyways they did carry these hopefully they're not sold out um but i will have them linked in the description box so that is it for this haul make sure if you guys purchase anything that i have shared or just anything else that you see on the website that you like from farfetch that you guys use my discount code ff monique to receive 10 percent off your entire order and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.